All right, everyone, get ready. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. I'm actually purposely waiting to turn on the console because this, this game kicks into overdrive when you turn it on. Here we go. So as you can hear, unlike many other games that have come out for the Super NES, or even any 16-bit titles in general, listen to the music in this game. And this is why. It's actually from the band Green Jelly. They actually made the soundtrack of this game, okay? And then they converted it into 16-bit tunes from the actual rock music. So this is Spider-Man and Venom in Maximum Carnage. And what you're going to see is they're going to go through the cast of characters that actually show up in this game as supporting characters, and it's pretty extensive. Now what this was, this is a video game based off of what's arguably the biggest Spider-Man crossover in Marvel Comics ever. This happened during the 1990s, and what it was was across all four Spider-Man titles, as well as many other titles, including some of the ones you're seeing here, Morbius, Deathlock, Captain America, um, there was a long arc of story where basically Carnage, who is a spin-off of Venom, he's a mass murderer psychopath who got part of the alien symbiote, or symbiote, or however the fuck you say it, symbiote, and turned into a vicious killer. And what you see here are he recruits all these supporting villains, who are basically like second stringers from the Marvel Universe, some of them aren't even Spider-Man villains, and he creates a super team of villains to go around doing whatever the fuck they want. And so basically it's up to a bunch of heroes, like Cloak, Dagger, Black Cat, Captain America, Iron Fist, Deathlock, to get involved and try to take them down. And what it did, it actually gave, for the very first time, it gave some of these heroes the ability to be featured prominently. So here we go. Ravencroft, a maximum security institution devoted to the study and the incarceration of the criminally insane. I sincerely hope, Officer Resnick, that I can somehow return the courtesy you've shown me by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. This is... I believe his name is Cledian Cassady. In your dreams, sicko. You should have listened, guys. I warned you. So at this point, it's looking like the symbiote isn't in him, but guess what? There really is a monster hiding within me. Hey Resident, remember how I said I'd go easy on you? Bam! I lied! You should never trust a raving lunatic. And as you can see, there's blood. This was one of the first, like, real serious Spider-Man comics in the early 90s, where they actually went into, like, blood and killing. I'm the ultimate insanity. I am carnage. It was pretty crazy because up to then it was always like, you know, oh, Spider-Man. <clears throat> you, know, you know, he goes around fighting robbers and, and criminals. He said, here, come on, let's put a little more life into it. I need to practice. Spider-Man and Venom are bound to come after me when they learn of my escape. Yeah, you know, Spider-Man, all the, all the villains he had fought with in Doc Ock, Electro, they were all like criminals, villains, thieves. They were killers. Carnage is a ruthless killer. Look, he just murdered everyone in the room. He says, unless I play it smart and go after them. Keep fighting. Make mine mayhem. Huh? What kind of nutcase would egg me on? <laughs> Who is it? It's Shriek. My name's Shriek. Cut me free. I can't wait to join you on the slaughter circuit. So it's another crazy villain from the Marvel Universe here. It's a chick. I knew you'd change my luck, pretty lady. There's a spider in that alley. Let's go squash it. That's my line. I'm supposed to be the monster here. So as you can see, this is a Spider-Man. They thought they found Spider-Man, and it's not. It's a six-armed freak. And this guy is actually from the another previous Marvel Comics crossover called the Infinity War. So Shriek says, don't hurt him. He's, some sort of, sort of, he's cute in a sort of sick, deranged way. Now, All right, we can keep you company while I attend to some personal business. 
What happened is in the Infinity War, there was actually a war between superheroes and their doppelganger, evil doppelgangers, and that was one of Spider-Man's doppelgangers that somehow survived and made it to Earth. Alright, now here comes Spider-Man, because it's also frustrating. Every enemy I defeat always seems to return. That is true. Think of it, all the Spider-Man villains always come back. Like, I'm destined to keep fighting them over and over again. Well, Spider-Man, as long as there's some money-making plot from Marvel Comics, yes, you will be fighting the same villains over and over again. Alright, so here we are, finally the first stage. And now what you're going to see is the game is actually pretty much a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up similar to Final Flight. Now what Spider-Man has, he's got a couple abilities. He can jump up and down really fast, as you can see. He's got the jump kick, left and right. He's got back flips. He actually got just regular punches. He's got a web ability, which actually can be two different things. You can use it like Scorpion's uh, freaking spear from Mortal Kombat to pull enemies towards you and beat them up. Or you can hold the button and it becomes a web shield you can block things with. Then he also has this ability where he can web swing left and right. Okay, here comes some enemies. And he can also cling to certain walls like this to avoid attacks. So he's pretty versatile for a 2D beat-em-up. He has a lot of abilities, and this is why, let's just the music, look how good the, this is how good the music is. You know, for the time, soundtracks like this were unheard of in most video games. Now you saw right there, he also has the ability to dash, you could do dashing shoulder attack. You could also do the dashing kick, as you saw, which goes super far, it's like a full screen kick. Down the brightness a little bit more here. Bam, bitch! Eat it, Billy! Come on, Billy! Oh, Billy! Oh, this is my hair. Kill Billy! Watch this! Boosh! Have some trash, bitch! Oh, you fucker! Punch me! Oh, 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 oh! So give me a spider beatdown! Now, every once in a while, you'll get what's called power hits. And if you save it up, you actually can do a lot more damage. You can, like, save it as a, a special attack hit. See, that happens when your energy bar is blinking. That's when you know you're going to get that power hit coming up. So we're right here. Oh my god, I just got my ass beat. And this is why people tell this is such a hard game. Look how much energy I lost from just a couple hits. I lost almost my whole fucking energy bar. Now watch this. Zoop, come here. Zoop. Yeah, you could use this. You can actually use the web to stop people in the tracks or to use to pull them towards you, see? Heart. Yeah! Drop some power. Oh! It's just cool to have a, a 2D side scrolling beat em up where Spider Man has like most of his powers. He actually plays like himself. See that? I use it like Scorpion. Get the shit out of everybody. I want some newspapers? Extra, extra, read all about it. You really get smacked in the fucking face with newspapers, but Spider Man's an asshole. Come on, Spider Man. Power hit. Bitch. Spider-Man's just slaughtering everyone in this neighborhood. Alright, it's gonna be boss time. This is the boss theme. It's the Kung Fu Chicks! Fuck. That's the problem, they can go behind you. Wow, she came out of mid-air. Alright, the front is starting to lose some health. <laughs> Bitch. Power hit. Bam. 
killed Dana. Come on, Lizzie, you fucking slut. One more hit. Alright, one more hit. Got her. Woo! Alright, stage one complete. Spider-Man kicking ass, taking names. Don't ask me what fighting accuracy is. Alright, climbing stage.